Welcome back to House of Romans. My name is Manuel. Uh, today I'm gonna do a little bit different. I'm using my earbuds mic uh, to do a quick, quick video. I got four fragrances that I've been collecting. I've been collecting for a couple of weeks already, and, and it is very hard not to open these up and smell them. So, y'all ready to find out what they are? Here we go. Never gonna give you up. I'm never gonna let you go. Never gonna say goodbye. No. Never gonna give. Never gonna give. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna give. Never gonna give. Never gonna give. Never gonna give. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna give. Never gonna give. Thanks for sticking around. Again, I usually use my mic, but. I got my ACs going, it's pretty high outside. And I think the last time I did a video like this, uh, I didn't pick up on no, no, the AC window units were not, I couldn't pick up on it. So that's why I'm doing it this way. So again, I got four fragrances that I've been collecting the last couple of weeks. Uh, again, this is very, very hard for me not, not to really smell them. Uh, I've been very, very patient. I was really waiting for this one that I ordered uh, last week and it finally came in yesterday. I'm excited about that one. So uh, Here we go So again, no in particular order uh, you know, from goodness or anything like that, but uh, Here we go So the first one I want to talk about the first one that, that I've been looking at for a while uh, They had it there at uh, Drug Emporium and this is the first time honestly that they really have this house, but on these particular style or, or kind so the first one is from the house of armoff armoff tag him perone i've heard all kinds of comments about this one i've never really put my nose on on it before so kind of curious about it the box just a simple box says tag tag him the back part has a picture of the bottle itself So to my understanding, what, what, <laughs> well, what I'm saying, what is the, the cap is a magnetic cap, kind of weak magnet, but hey, it's good. <clears throat> but again, to my understanding, this is supposed to be a, a clone of uh, Blue de Chanel. I couldn't, I couldn't compare it to uh, Blue de Chanel. Uh, I did not own that one, but again, I've smelled it before and it's been a while. So I'm not going to say yes, right on it or anything like that. I'm going to let you know where I pick up on it. So again, in these boxes, I really get rid of them. So again, it looks just like this. It has like a, trying to give like a leather type of feel, but it's just a small, it's just uh, smooth, like a felt, I guess. The bottle all the way around it. Again, the mag, the, the cap is a magnetic cap. A little weak magnetic, and then it came with this little tag. I guess you want to use it or just keep it on here. Me, I'll probably just keep it on the bottle itself. <clears throat> so here we go. The only thing about this is kind of trying to how to hold it in, in your hand. <clears throat> Give it a couple of sprays. Atomize is okay. Ooh. Okay. So to my understanding, this, a lot of, I've seen a lot of people give great reviews on this one. It's just a nice citrusy aquatic a blue type of fragrance very very nice it's it's to my understanding it's supposed to last about six to seven hours but again just my first impression on all these very very enjoyable i like this one a lot Great, great buy. I'm glad I, I purchased it. I think I paid, I paid 20 bucks, 19, 1948, something like that, 20 bucks. Not bad for 100 mil. Again, to my understanding, it's supposed to, get, it's supposed to have a decent performance. So we'll see. Y'all stay tuned for a follow-up video. The next one is another one that I've been looking at for a while. Uh, it's one that it's, I've smelt it probably man, about four weeks ago, three or four weeks ago. And I uh, got this one at uh, uh, Marshall's. 
It's from the house of Cremo, Cremo Cologne Distilled Blend number 13. So this is a pretty nice fragrance. Uh, I think I've heard Cremo, well I've seen Cremo for about 20 bucks at Target and Walmart and stuff like that. Uh, this one I got it for $12.99 at Marshalls. So again, like I said, I smelled it probably a couple weeks ago. Uh, and I really can't remember what exactly what it smells like. Again, the box, just this regular box. Uh, the letters of uh, reserve collection is in gold. The, the crown's in gold. The bottle is uh, your, your, your typical uh, Cremo bottles. A lot of fragrances. A lot of fragrances from that line come in. There's one that I really want to get, Silver Purge, I believe that's what it's called. I really was looking for that one, but if I see it, I'll get it. But again, here it goes. It is a distiller blend, number 13. Mass Man Review did a, re a review on this one, and I asked him about it. He goes, man, you should get it. It's a pretty decent fragrance. Okay, ooh, it smells good. Okay, now remember, it has a boozy, kind of like a tobacco feel into it, a, a tobacco smell in it. To my understanding, again, another one that that what I might, that I understand is a pretty good, decent fragrance. This was more like an evening fragrance to me. Or if you're gonna go to like a like you know get together you know, bar or whatever, sports bar, or even, uh, uh, you know, like a you know, sports bar where I'm talking about the food and all that, get together with some friends. Very nice. So again, boozy, kind of tobacco flavor. Let me see if the, the box had any notes in it. I don't think it did. Again, like I said, I just really throw these away. It says a rich, elevated blend with notes of Kentucky bourbon, smoked vetiver, in American oak. Could have sworn I, I, I could sort of smell like if it had like a tobacco type of scent. But the booziness, you can take, you can pick up on the booziness. And it's almost seems like it should have like some kind of citrus, but according to the notes, it don't. Just a very hint of citrus. Very, very nice. I like this. My first Cremo that I've ever purchased. I like this. And the reason I want to get the Silver silver Lake Purge or Silver Purge, something like that is called, because I got the body wash and I love that body wash. I, try, I always try to look for that body wash anytime I go to Marshall's or Ross to give me a, you know another bottle of it, just to have it in handy when I run out the one I have using right now, get ready to go. The next one, the next one, I was kind of iffy of picking it up. Uh, I had hit up Trey and uh, asked Trey if he smelled it. He said no. And when I finally purchased it, I uh, seen, uh, what's his name? Uh, Grown Man Style. I saw he did a little video where he saw it. I haven't heard, I seen reviews on it where I was looking at it there at Marshall's. Saw it there at Marshall's. I uh, paid like 40 bucks for it. And so. Again, I saw mixed reviews. Some people say it was good, some people say it was not. So again, it just varies on what people like. Some people like, you know, uh, what they call it, uh, mass appealing fragrances. Me, I, like, I just like them all, honestly. Straight up, I like them all. As long as they smell good, make me feel good, I'm getting I'm a rocket. So again, there's Ugo Boss, The Scent, Pure Accord. Again, I, the first time I ever seen it, came 100 mil, 40 bucks for 100 mil. Box, very simple, like just the other box, just a tan brown, like a tan color to it, as I meant to say. Comes in a bottle, just like the, uh, the line does, the scent. So, to my understanding, it's supposed to be like a fresher uh, style of the scent from the original one. So, here we go. I was very, very excited about this one to try it out. See what I think. Try 
Try not to breathe. Okay. Exactly right. Exactly what what I what I the the the, the way they explain it on, on some reviews. Again, like I said, some some reviewers that I've seen seen videos on, some people rate it pretty good, other people didn't. You have the scent profile in it, but like a a fresher type of uh, uh, profile of the scent, kind of sweet, but again, you, you can still smell like the the the, the vetiver, the smokiness. Like that, like that spice, and that's what I meant. So, like a spiciness in it, you know, of the original one, but with with the sweet, fresher uh, note uh, breakdown in it. So again, just give you guys my first impression of this one. I think I will like this one. I might even rock this tomorrow. Very, very nice. Again, it does have like that bubblegum type of scent, that sweetness of it. To my understanding, it just smells like that in the beginning. And it's supposed to change throughout but so far so good i like this I, I really really do nice nice i like this the next one last but not least last but not least this was the one that I, i've been patient on uh i purchased this one on uh what's that called I'm trying to remember the name of that store online Let's see, give me one second. I'll let you guys know. Ah, I thought the box would say it. Anyways, I'll, I'll, I'll put it somewhere on here. Uh, think about that store. It, the prices go seem to jump up and down on all the Montals, which <laughs> now I already told you guys what I have. From the house of Montal, Montal, so Solil di Atali. So those uh, the Montals in that in that in that store or or place that I purchased it from, uh, the prices go up and down. It changes from time to time, and so I'm a patient person. I really want to up my my Montals. A lot of people say Montals is a good way to start with your uh, purchasing niche fragrances. Uh, all the ones that I've had, uh, I've purchased three and gifted one. I uh, appreciate JP. Uh, all of them give me great, great performance. Uh, I seen Ross from TOTG do, do uh, uh, I guess uh, it was his first impressions on this one. Uh, he, he was saying it was sort of uh, of a more quality of uh, light blue. Don't you combine light blue? The original, but he said it went a whole different direction. But me, I purchased it because I'm looking for a Montal that that'd be good for summer. Uh, I, I want to take some 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 uh, some Montals that they have good uh, summer fragrances to use for our vacation that's coming up in the next couple of months. So I'm excited. Again, Montal comes Soli Solil the Atali. So I can see it. I know I'm tearing this name up real real bad. Again, Montal comes in these boxes, different color boxes, and all the Montals and uh, uh, Mancera. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. This is a Mancera. I'm saying it all wrong. And I ain't gonna edit it or anything like that. It's a Mancera. Manceras and the Montals made by the same perf uh, company. Uh, I believe most of them made from the same perfumer. Uh, but again, Mancera, Soli, the Itali from Mancera. Again, all the Manceras and the Montal comes in these little pouches. So again, this is supposed to be a, 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 a summery fragrance. I'm excited to, to, to try it out. Y'all stay tuned. Again, it comes from these uh, Montals. Uh, I mean Montals, here I go again. Mancera bottles, original bottles. Uh, okay. Just like, uh, what's that one? Uh, Instant Crush, Instant Crush has a magnetic cap. So does this one. This is a very, very strong magnetic cap. So here we go. Give you guys my first impressions on Mancera, Solid di Itali. 
again, I, I apologize. I know I'm chopping up his veins pretty bad. I'm trying to hurry up before my wife gets here, so get dinner started. Here we go. Try not to breathe. Ooh, this is nice. Oh yeah, straight off the bat. Kind of, kind of, straight up you can smell, it, it smells straight like a summer fragrance. With that lemon, hint of, or like a tangerine maybe. Sort of like that oil, the orange oil peel when you squeeze the, the peel in that oil. That scent with some with some lemon, citrusy, very very nice, kind of salty, or oh, oceany, I guess you can say. But again, just a very nice summery fragrance. Very very nice. I'm excited to wear this one. There's, there's a couple of more that I uh, that I want to get from from Mansara. Then I'll be done with the Mansara lines. But again, nice, nice, nice fragrance. Again, four fragrances that I've, that I've been patiently, guys. Y'all don't know how bad I've been really, really patient. Sorry about that. I've been very, very patient. And uh, to open these and smell them, I like all of these that, I, that I've purchased. The scent, I like this one a lot. Very, very nice. Mansara. Enjoy, I love this one. Woo, that, that Cremo. This would have been good for this past weekend. This past weekend, me and my wife went with a couple of friends to a, to a comedy show here in town. Uh, so far that I know, we got like three sick, three uh, spots now that here in Waco, where I'm from, that if we have comedy spots, uh, that tell jokes and you know, just, just different stuff that, that's a nice thing to have here in town. Honestly, me and my wife, we love laughing. We like comedy. Especially me, I enjoy comedy. I love it. There's some comedians I can just watch over and over and over again. But again, very, very nice. It would have been very, very good for that type of uh, atmosphere. Again, there was no, no smoke or anything like that. But again, the lights were dim. You know what I'm talking about? It's just very, very nice. It would have been perfect for that day. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Last but not least, tag for him. Again, another one, a uh, fragrance that's supposed to have like that Blue de Chanel type of scent. Can't wait to wear it. Again, have you guys got your nose on any of these? Make sure you leave me a comment down below. Like, share, and subscribe. Y'all stay tuned for a follow-up on all these and more to come. Uh, again, like, share, and subscribe. Y'all keep smelling great. Y'all stay blessed. And see you guys on the next video.